Hi, welcome to the market outlook. So today we'll be looking at cryptocurrencies. We'll be going through the technical analysis of Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Cardano. So if you look at Bitcoin, in the daily time frame, you can see that it has tested crucial areas in the critical support zone back in 20th May. So you see a one test here and the second test here. So now prices have rebounded a bit and it's trying to make its way back up to the next resistance zone that we see over here. So what's the possibility of it going back up? Break it down, we look at the four hourly time frame. We see price action. So the crucial thing we see is if we look at this blue 50 day EMA, this 50 day EMA line has been respected in 26 May and 27 May. And prices were rejected from this trend line. It wasn't able to hold up even though it broke above this blue line. So right now, what we're seeing is that price action has broke above the 50 day EMA, retested 50 EMA, and now it's trying to make its way back up. So there's a higher probability of this price action of Bitcoin going up to the 44,000 levels. So we monitor and see. So if you want to go further down to one hourly time frame, and let me show you a mini structure over here. You can see a mini structure over here, which price action is respecting and it broke through retest and preferably we would like to see it break through this small resistance as well. If it's able to break through small resistance, retest and make its way back up to the next resistance level. So let's monitor Bitcoin. Seems promising and right now there's quite some bullish price action. So with the model of cryptocurrencies having in our analysis a bullish momentum, let's look at Ethereum. So for Ethereum, let's zoom out to the daily time chart first. So for Ethereum, you can see that price swings were more volatile. Back in around the same period as Bitcoin, 19 May, it retested crucial support zone. You see a wick here, a second wick here, it broke through. However, it did not close below or even near the support zone. So you can see that there's a lot of buying pressure in these levels that push price immediately up, reached previous resistance and came back down and now it's retesting the resistance level. If we are having multiple testing of the resistance level, it's like a door. We constantly knock on the door and eventually it's going to break down. So let's go to a four time timeframe and look at this analysis again. So you see a retest of this resistance level second retest and now we are looking at a potential third retest we are looking at a higher possibility of this resistance level being broken so if you can see my green arrows best case scenario will be it breaks through retest and goes back up clear cut where's the next resistance level for to see this let's zoom out It's a bit laggy so do remember subscribe to the channel so i can get better equipment to make this less laggy and a better experience for you guys so right now if we look at resistance level it would be around this range of 3800 to 3600 this range is an area we like to see price action goes to in the bouquet system for ethereum and also for us to take some profits obviously if let's say you've bought at these levels at a crucial support level and you're reaching this level again it never hurts to take some profits if you have missed taking profits here like the old saying goes no one went broke taking profits okay so next one and lastly we'll look at cardano cardano is showing a bit more promise of the Bitcoin Ethereum technical analysis that we have seen. Why I've said that is because if you look at the main resistance line, retested, brought back down. Second retest, brought back down again. Now on the third retest, like I mentioned, resistance levels, multiple times you are hitting against those levels is likely more likely to break. 
So here you can see the price pushed up, didn't really manage to close nicely above the resistance level, which is not ideal, but still it broke up, retested it, and now you're seeing price action trying to break up again. So if you look at this hourly time frame chart, you can see price action much clearer. Reason being that in the recent price action, you can see prices close above the resistance level. Now it's retesting previous highs and the EMAs, and preferably you'd like to see a good green candle close above this resistance zone. And we can see a possible move much higher. So target price will probably be around the next supply zone, the resistance zone, which lies around this area. So about 2.15 thereabouts. So that's it for Cardano and the Tekka analysis for the cryptocurrencies. So if you felt that you have derived some value from this video, do remember to subscribe, like this video and leave a comment sharing your opinions as well and happy to discuss together. So that's all for today's episode and I'll see you in the next episode.